The Turbo Token on Ethereum is having a phenomenal day. It's up almost 50%, but unfortunately, it hasn't always been the case. Let's have a look at some on-chain analytics most people aren't looking at. Let's have a look at the long-term holders. Let's have a look at the whales versus retail investors. Let's try to find out where this journey will bring us. We are currently at 0.47 cents. The price went up by 45% today alone. But have a look at this. This was a true roller coaster ride in the last month. Now, I've made several videos on Turbo on this channel. And the first video published one and a half months ago actually outperformed your average video quite a bit. There was a lot of attention on Turbo at the time. The subsequent video outperformed as well, but barely. The third video performed pretty much similarly to the second. So there is somewhat declining interest for Turbo, even though the volatility isn't going down at all. Let's have a look at the on-chain metrics, both for the Ethereum-based token, but also for the Solana-based token. Because there are two versions, there's one on Ethereum with 34,677 holders, and there's the Solana-based version with roughly 2,000 holders. Now, not all of those holders matter to the same degree, right? There are a lot of holders that just have a few cents worth of the token. Let's put in some minimum holding thresholds. So let's start off with the Ethereum chain and let's segregate the number of holders based on a minimum holding threshold. On the left side, we've got the number of wallets that have at least 200,000 Turbo tokens. So at the current price, that's a bit over $9,000. So that's the chart on the left. That is what I'd consider retail. For the middle chart, we go a 10x in minimum holding. So that's now not $900, but $9,000. On the right side, we've got the whales. That's $90,000 dollars worth of the token. It's interesting how it's solely retail that started buying in the middle of January of this year. The whales actually rather tended to distribute, they tended to sell. Let's have a look at just the last month where we got our massive ups and downs. In the end, we netted minus 23% in terms of price. And here's the holder development on Ethereum over that last month alone. So in the last month alone, actually all holder thresholds tended to accumulate. So how is it possible when the number of investors is going up that the price actually isn't? I believe there are two explanations. One explanation is that simply the overall market is going down. And a lot of altcoins are one-on-one -on -one paired with Ethereum, right? When you are buying the Turbo token on a decentralized exchange, you are swapping, at least indirectly, your Ethereum for Turbo tokens. So the ratio between Ethereum and Turbo determines the Turbo price. So Turbo is actually priced in Ethereum tokens in a decentralized manner. When the Ethereum price goes down in US dollars, then the Turbo token goes down to the same degree in US dollars as well. And so Turbo went down by 23%. Ethereum went down by 20.6%. So the price decline itself can mainly be explained by that Ethereum drop. However, why didn't Turbo outperform Ethereum given that the number of holders increased everywhere. I think this is where we might see some potential manipulation by the market makers. Because have a look at this, 30% of trading volume happens on OKX, another 20% on Gate.io, HDX, Maxi and BitGet also own a lot of the trading volume of Turbo. And so potentially those market makers got an early allocation and they are now distributing, right? They are balancing out their portfolios. I mentioned that there's also a version on the Solana chain and we actually have the exactly same charts for Solana as well. These are the same kind of thresholds that we have for the Ethereum based token and see the number of holders is much much lower. We've got 2000 holders in total but on Solana it's only a hundred holders that have more than $900 worth of the token. Again for reference on Ethereum that's almost 10,000 holders. By the way all of those charts come from a tool that I've developed myself so you can plug in any Ethereum based token into those tools you can plug in any Solana token into those tools and then you can have a look at what are certain people doing with a token are the large whales selling is retail buying it's always very useful to see where the buying and selling pressure is potentially coming from if you want to get access to this tool it's available down below it's the bitcoinstrade.com that's the premium membership now here's something I don't like about the current market 
it's 100% player versus player. And I've mentioned this in prior videos and I'm not getting tired of repeating myself. When there's no more fiat flowing into crypto, when the stablecoin market cap is simply just flat, then it's very, very hard to make money in crypto. Returns are concentrated in just a few assets. The vast majority of assets in such a market environment tend to underperform. And so that's why I short, I bet on falling prices of assets like this, or like this, or like this. I think in this market, it's much easier to find the losers than to find the winners. I'm shorting the market. I'm betting on falling prices. And again, I'm sharing what kind of assets I am betting on within the premium Telegram channels. There's also tutorials around this, etc. There's also a free Telegram in case your crypto portfolio isn't yet large enough to justify premium. That link is also down below. Looking very much forward to chatting with you over there as well. See you in Telegram. Cheers.